No one has done any work on it? How could this be? Excuse me. They don't really believe Saray is the Shepherd at all. Good. Better than them expecting too much of him. Besides, I'm sure Saray has bigger things on his mind right now. Like fixing the bridge, you mean? Yeah. I can't believe how little progress has been made. I guess Marland is going to be quarantined for a little while longer. I want to do something to help them. Outfit? You must be the Shepherd? Yes, I'm Saray. I am Nath, a representative of Marland, the town on the other side of the river. Lord Saray, I hear that you were able to stop the rampage of the Water Spirit. I cannot possibly thank you enough. Oh gosh, that was nothing. Hey, Mr. Nath? Was there something that you wanted to discuss with me? Ah, well, you see... Thanks to your heroic efforts in putting a stop to the Water Spirit, the currents have calmed considerably, and we should be able to repair the bridge. But I'm afraid it's still taking too long. I have to make my way back and deliver this medicine at all costs. Huh, I see. Then... Serene. I, uh... No, I apologize. It was wrong for me to ask favors of you just because you're the Shepherd. The destruction of the bridge itself was a warning to those who have forgotten their gratitude toward the Seraphim. I shall bear that in mind, and devote my energies to aid in restoring this bridge. I'm terribly sorry I couldn't help you. Please, don't fret. Your very existence is a beacon of hope to us all. We should be thanking you for appearing in such dismal times. I'll see if there's anything I can do on my end as well. I'm really sorry. He's a good man. He hasn't forgotten his sense of gratitude to the Seraphim. I really want to help him somehow. Lila, is there nothing I can do to aid him? I ask as well. If it's just so Ray and his squire Alicia, I should be able to use my powers to cross the river. We can take the medicine with us. But if Saray uses his power as a shepherd to carry someone's goods, then everyone else will want to turn to use him as their own personal delivery boy. And we're not a freight company, you mean? Then maybe we can ask a ferry captain to... But then that fairy captain would just wind up having to deal with the same issue. So, you're saying we should start by addressing the root of the problem? Meaning we should just help restore the bridge, huh? And in a way that won't cause people to rely too much on the Shepherd afterwards. I wonder if we could maybe build the foundation for the bridge out of rock. Ask the Earth Seraph to help raise a riverbed or something. That's definitely something only the Shepherd could do. And the repairs that followed afterwards could be left up to the people. How about that? Very well. That sounds good to me. To the west looms a mountain known as the Spirit Crest. If I'm not mistaken, an Earth Seraph dwells there. Let's tell Alicia! Do you have a moment? Hey, I'd like to discuss this further with you later. Be ready. If you say so. Trouble? 
Well, I want to assist with the reconstruction too, for Marlin's sake. I asked, but... Not going as well as you'd hoped? I'm not the sort to give up so easily. I just need more time to explain how I can be of service. Anyway, what did you want to talk about? Yeah, I'm thinking we should talk to an Earth Seraph who lives on the Spirit Crest about helping with the reconstruction. They could change the riverbed to form the bridge's foundation. You... you can do something like that? It's definitely a possibility. Saray, I would like to properly convince everyone that I can help here. Would it be a bother if I were to stay behind? Nah, we should be fine. Do what you need to do. We're counting on you, Alicia. Right. Leave everything to me. Then we're off to the Spirit Crest. See you in a bit. I beg your pardon, but did you just say you were going to the Spirit Crest? Is there a problem? Rayfolk Spirit Crest is best avoided if you value your life. There is a reason that mountain is so frequently mentioned in the legends of the dragons. It is a place in which no man should set foot. Legends of the dragons? I don't remember anything like that coming up in the celestial record. Tell me, do you know the legend of the Eight Serpents? That's the legend found in every culture of the Eight Dragons who betrayed the Seraphim and were banished to the Underworld. Hmm. Our tales tell that one of those dragons still remains in Rayfolk's Spirit Crest. But the Celestial Record doesn't mention anything like that. Perhaps not. It's hardly reasonable to think that all the legends in the world can be encompassed in a single tome. I appreciate the warning, but even so, that's where I'm headed. But... It'll be fine. Lila's never heard of that legend either. certainly is impressive up close. Yeah, I can see why they call it Spirit Crest. But still, dragons? Probably just a story some bard made up. Certainly the last time I was here, there was never any sign of one. You mean on your journey with the previous shepherd? Hey, uh, let's play a game. Pick a number, one through ten. Got you! It was twelve. She's off the rails. <sighs> Must be that pesky oath of hers again. Anyway, if there really were a dragon there, we wouldn't stand a chance against it. So what? If we run into one, we better hightail it out of there? Hopefully we don't run into one at all. Is that a monolith?
amateurs. Can't take the heat, huh? Looks like Zavid here is gonna have to show you first-timers how it's done! Killed it? You bastard! Hey, it was a Hellion, and Hellions belong in Hell. We could have safely quelled it. There was no need to kill it! Looked to me like you were just getting your asses kicked back there. Besides, death is a kind of salvation. For some. What? Why? <laughs> oh, that's rich. I can always count on the Shepherd and his posse to be a bunch of goody two-shoes, can't I? You knew I was the Shepherd? A self-righteous choir boy facing off against a Hellion. Who else would you be? The name's Zavid. Damn pleased to make your acquaintance, gentle Shepherd. How dare you! The Spirit Crest is way out of your league. If a dragon were even to yawn in your general direction, you'd be gone. We are not here to battle dragons. Your concern is noted. You're not? Well, that's no fun. Nothing adds spice to life like a sworn enemy. I take it you are here to fight the dragon, then? That had been the plan, yes. The plans, they change. You serious? <laughs> Looking pretty good, aren't I? Zavid, what is it you want? Do you really think I'd be willing to just drop the shepherd and his toadies into the dragon's lap so we can gobble them right up? If you're so eager to get eaten by the dragon and compound his power, it's better that you die by my hand! Here and now! Back! Go! Back! Back! He's not the way! No flash in there! Right down! Whoa! Hold up! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, alright? That's enough, okay? You're the one who attacked us! I said I'm sorry already. Sheesh. I'm not your enemy. Let's call a truce. Deal? Fair enough. There's no reason for us to fight. See? Somebody here has their head on straight. And besides, we're all part of the same team in the end. Know what I mean? Are we? Sure. I don't plan on becoming anyone's sublord. Zavid! Alright, alright already. I'll leave you alone, your shepherdness. It's Saray. Sure, sure. Saray the shepherd. Well, I got better things to do. Don't forget to run if you see a dragon. Is it really true that a dragon lives here? You got eyes, don't you, Saray? Why don't you try using them? What is that guy's problem? His power. It doesn't feel like purification at all. Almost more like it feeds on malevolence. <clears throat> I can't respect someone like that. A Seraph who would just kill a Hellion. Yeah. It's sickening. Let's be off. We have our own agenda to fulfill. Right. Just a moment. I want to bury them. 
Saray. He feels responsible. Let's go, Miklia. Lila. Let's do this! No! Right! Here it is! It's over! Hang on, everyone! Flash! Stop in the water! Purification complete! from the Assassin's Guild? Why would you be after me? Do you realize how disturbed the people have become with someone like you running around pretending to be the Shepherd? Huh? But I mean, I am the Shepherd. Care to prove it, Shepherd? As if you could. <sighs> I'm counting on you all! Blake! We should run. Something's odd about this. You're right. They don't seem to be Hellions. Agreed. If anything, I think they're intentionally giving us a chance to escape. I wonder if they'll still target me. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Counting on you, Lila! I got so is that a human or a bird? Some things you're just better off not knowing. Looks like we win! Be on your guard! Yeah! Let's go. Saray, what happened to your usual archaeology fever? I'm quite sure there's all sorts of things to research about that shrine. I can't say I'm not interested. But there are people suffering right now because they're missing a bridge. I'll deal with it. There'll be plenty of other times for exploring. I'm glad. I feel I may have been misjudging you this whole time. Please, forgive me. No need to apologize. Saray's usually so predictable. Very true. I predict we'll talk later, Miklio. Oh, you're sure, huh? 
Ancient tongue. Just now. He's always just so blasé. I also want to ask about that strange item he had. And what nerve! Being so scantily clad in front of a lady like that. Maybe now's not a good time to bother her. Good call. Is this? Is this the domain? It can't be. Are you saying malevolence could corrupt a domain this far? We should escape. The strongest entity in the domain decides its form. It has nothing to do with right or wrong or malevolence. <sighs> but it's just like with Gramps. The Lord of this land must have detected our intrusion. is a recent addition to the mountain? No, it can't be. Are you Edna? Oh, Edna! I can't believe it! You, a dragon! Nope, guess again. Huh? There are two Ednas? Your conclusion is peculiar. Brother, you must stop. Brother? So even my voice no longer reaches you. He's coming. Run like the wind. Is she the Seraph you were looking for, Lila? She is. Does this look like the time to chat? Move! Blades of Ice! Ice Reaver! Focus your yeah, efforts! <laughs> Tiger Blade! No escape! Pull together! Who's off the leg? Oh, this one's tough. Save Don't slap on the face! This is bad. Watch your health! Spirit Cleansing! Elixir of the with three fangs! Open the way for it! There's no point in fighting. Just run! What? Let's just get out alive! Uh, 
Is there a school you go to to get that dumb? Huh? You crave the fame of being a dragon slayer? Is that it? Edna! I thought you really had become a dragon! Thank goodness! Well, you haven't changed. People would respect you more if you actually worked on your personality. Actually, we came here looking for you. And so you marched into a dragon's territory? You guys really did go to Dum Dum Academy. Why, you... I'm sorry. <sighs> so? Huh? Was there something you wanted? Oh, yeah. I'm Sore. We need you to lend us your power. We were hoping you could make the foundation for a bridge, so it can be repaired. No. Huh? I despise Earth Dwellers. Self-centered, emotional. But when they need something, it's, Oh, dear Seraphim, heed my prayer! Heed this, morons. And besides, I can't leave my brother as he is right now. That dragon, he's your brother? Yes, that's correct. That is Aizen. He's the only family I have. But... Edna, was it? It's too dangerous for you to stay here. That's right. What do you even plan on doing? Well, I... Um... I thought there had to be some way to cure his condition, but I haven't found anything. Well, there we go. I bet I can quell him. Seriously? Once a seraph has become a dragon, even the flames of purification cannot salvage them. Are you saying there's no way to save her brother? The only option I know of is to kill him. If we even can, that is. Besides, death is a kind of salvation. For some. I don't want to admit it, but... Either way, it's dangerous to be here. I won't ask you to help us after all, but you should get far away from here. I agree. This is none of your business. Look, Edna. Leave me alone. I guess our cooperation won't come so easily. We'll find some other way. The more important thing is, we can't leave her here like this. True enough. Well, then I guess we'd better go after her. Steady your nerves. Yeah! Ready? Oh, no escape! It's over! You were quite strong. But we're no Some of us are low on health. Focus, guys! Yeah. No escape! Heal that tower! Slice through air! Oh, what we found it! Fluid surge! Yeah! Yeah! Not yet! Alright! Give us a blessing! Yeah! The ruins!
Edna. What's this? Did you bury them? Yeah. It was the least I could have done. Huh. Edna. Enough. I don't care how dangerous it is. I'm not going anywhere. Fine. Then let's go together and find some way to save Aizen. Didn't I tell you already? There is no way. I'm not so sure about that. Hmm? The Seraphim, the Shepherds, the Dragons, they really did exist. There are still so many legends which have yet to be uncovered in this world. There must be a way to purify the dragons somewhere, just waiting for the right person to find it. There he goes again. Not now. You're asking me to believe that? Yes. Can you give us a chance? All right, Saray. You win. I'll go with you. Wonderful! But let's be clear. Huh? If you really wanted to take me with you, you should have just dragged me kicking and screaming. Let's go hunt legends, my lady. My noble heart would not deceive thee. That went out of fashion a few hundred years ago. I... I didn't think I was... Surrey's never been in fashion. Okay, Lila. Make me your sublord. Wait a minute. I didn't mean for you to... You're the one that invited me, aren't you? Yes, but still. And in any case, if I'm supposed to leave here, I need to be transferred into a new vessel. If not, I'll be corrupted by malevolence. Or didn't you think about that? Well... Academy valedictorian, this one. Come on, Lila. Are you really okay with this? You were just telling us how much you hate humans. I do hate humans, but I guess this one's pretty okay. Thank you, Edna. Promise me something. Promise me that we'll find some way to save Aizen. Together. O oh, ye born of firmest resolve. Here let our pact be forged, that my unquavering incandescence may be as thy purification. Shouldst thou accept this burden, recite aloud your name. Have some Yuland. Already carrying a divine artifact to serve as your vessel? Looks like we've been had, Saray. <laughs> I never did understand girls. Now then, take me with you to the outside world. You got it. Here we go, Edna. You got a name? Miklio, not Waterboy. Miklio, not Waterboy? That's a new one. Call me what you like. See if I care. 
Okay, Mebo. It's Miklio, all right? Miklio! <laughs> if you say so. Well, I see who runs this household. Yep. Whoa, what? Since when was this a household? Yeah! Can you guys not practice your comedy routines inside my head? You. They called you their boss, didn't they? I really am the Shepherd. I know you won't believe me, but it's true. Real or fake, it doesn't matter a bit. I can feel someone's blessed domain. What? What? Earth War! Rising Sand! You mean she has a level of resonance on par with the Shepherds? She does? But she can't even see us. Let's save the chat for later. This girl is strong. I can tell! That was radiant, Edna! Suppose I could learn from your level of reserve. Do you know of him? He lives the life of a vagabond. I heard he had taken a liking to a particularly fearsome band of traveling mercenaries. Why is he with the assassins? I suppose something happened to the mercenaries. There must be a story behind it. You don't just join up with a bunch of assassins for no reason. I'm surprised he hasn't become a Hellion by now, hooking up with an assassin's guild. There was no malevolence at all coming from that assassin. No way. No malevolence will fester among those who are pure and clean of heart. That assassin was exactly like you, Saray. A pure and clean of heart assassin? Really? They make those? Apparently. What's wrong? So... It doesn't matter if I'm real or fake, huh? Then I guess this is what you meant by me taking on the burden of the Shepherd. Yep. Don't fool yourself. Humans don't think for a moment about how you feel. But what do you expect? They're humans. She's right, I'm afraid. You'll have to learn to deal with it. Well, good thing you're pretty tough to begin with. <laughs> I wish. Saray, I'm counting on you. Be gone! Try to get the Yeah! Her threat is not yet! Not yet! Ready? The ruins! Make it quick! Ha. Ready? Let's get them! Sword Sword yeah. Yeah. Not yet. I'm on top of my game! Still don't think you can help us out? The Shepherd can command the Seraphim at will, isn't that right? Do whatever you want. Yeah, no, you're not a tool for me to use. If you really don't want to help, I'll find some other way. I see. You like to guilt trip a girl into making the first move. What? Saray, maintain your purity. I knew she was messed up, but... Man, if you guys aren't the dullest crew of fuddy-duddies ever assembled, I was going to help you from the get-go anyway. <sighs> You're welcome. 
<sighs> Thanks a million. Lord Soray, it is a pleasure to see you again. Likewise. How are things looking? Well, there's still no telling when the bridge will be repaired. All right. Then I'll make it so that the bridge can be fixed. What exactly does that entail? Uh, forgive me, but I'm a bit confused, Lord Soray. In any case, I shall summon Lady Alicia. Please, wait here a moment. Wait a minute. You're going to do this right away? Yeah. I want to cheer them up as soon as possible. But... Don't you know what humans will think about you if you demonstrate power that transcends their simple understanding? I do indeed. Huh. Well, okay. Suit yourself. Maybe you like being treated like a monster. Hmm. It's your call. I won't stop you. But think carefully about who stands to lose the most from what they're warning you about. Right. If it transpires that the people begin to abhor and shun you, you yourself may end up breeding malevolence. Sure about this? Don't worry so much. I'll be okay. Fine. Understood. I won't stop you. I need to start getting used to this. Both using my power, and feeling the people's scorn. I can help you with that second one. <laughs> All right! It's time to do this! What on earth? What on earth just happened? The hell was that? No human could have done this. Um, think this'll do it? Can you folks repair the bridge now? Uh, uh, of course we can. Isn't that right, everyone? Mr. Nath, can I leave you in charge of rebuilding this bridge? Of course. These are all very skilled workers. I expect they will have it done in no time. Everyone, let's all get to work. Right, uh, okay. Shepard! Gentle Shepard, how can I ever thank you? Ah, uh, there's no need for that. But I must. Thank you so much for everything you have done for us. So there are those that understand. Yes. Nath, 
might we take some medicine from you? We are actually heading over to Marlin from here. Would it be faster for us to deliver it? Can I ask such a thing of you? Yeah. Thank you. I am in your debt once more. Saray, am I able to cross the river with you? Of course. If it's just you, you've already made the Squire's Pact. Good luck. Oh, incredible. I suppose even a raging river is no trouble for a shepherd. But you should still avoid using your powers in front of other people. Yeah, you're probably right. She is. If Earth Dwellers are there to freak out every time like this one does, I may slip my wrists. Seraphedna, I deeply regret my transgression. Yeah, you ought to. And we're already on a first name basis even though we just met? You're awfully rude, you know that? Please forgive me. If you're sorry, then do the Norman Karena as penance. The Nor- What now? You don't know it? How disrespectful. Please forgive me. If you're sorry, then do the Norman Karena as penance. Edna, don't infinite loop the squire. Lila, you understand that Edna is toying with Alicia, don't you? Do something. Sorry, I just thought, maybe if they had a chance to talk together, they might, you know, become friends. Alicia, this is just how Edna is. You can't take anything she says seriously. Spoken like a true Mebo. What's a Mebo? You don't know? Then do that. Okay, enough.
for battle. Yeah! Let's do some fortune telling. Please pick one. Okay. Oh, this one's blank. That means your spirit is pure and clean, like this paper. Oh, th thank you. She's gullible. Way too gullible. I think we've checked that monolith out yet. sure how it is. Weapons ready! Tiger Blade! Blade! Sword Blade! 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 Blade!